What's happening boys and girls? Today I'm going to show you how to make one of my favorite things out of deer meat. Breakfast sausage. It's super easy to do and it's turned into one of my family's favorite things to eat. My wife doesn't really love the taste of like a deer steak. Uh, she's just not used to it. She didn't grow up eating it. So uh, I have to kind of find a way to work deer meat into our diet and uh, this is a good way to do it. It's not that fatty. Uh, you don't add a ton of pork. So it's uh, probably pretty healthy, you know, maybe not as healthy as turkey sausage, but probably pretty close. I personally don't like turkey sausage very well, so deer sausage it is. But first, I want to introduce you to a new family member, the Appalachia on the Hunt family. You might have noticed that I haven't uploaded a whole lot of stuff, you know, in the recent weeks. Deer season got derailed by this, and, you know, I'm really happy to be a new dad. I'm super excited. Uh, my little girl, happy, healthy. And I'll introduce her to you. I'm just nervous. I'm afraid I want to drop her, you know, <laughs> get the shaky hands. You're so excited. It's so new. Oh, the Ruger American Predator 6.5 Creedmoor. She is a true beauty. And I am excited to get this thing out on the range. There's a lot of guys who shoot these, you know, set them up for a thousand yards or further. One guy was shooting a mile. Um, I'm super, super pumped about this. It was a birthday present for myself. Uh, topped it off with a Vortex Crossfire 2, and that's a 6 by 24 by 50. I'm excited. All right, so starting out with ingredients, we're gonna have three pounds of ground venison. I just ground this like last week. And two pounds of ground pork. The way I get my ground pork, I uh, buy pork butts at Aldi's and grind those up. Um, just a good bit cheaper doing it that way. Um, grind up a bunch at one time, and then I can uh, kind of go through and make whatever I wanna make out of it. Then we're going to have two tablespoons of brown sugar, one teaspoon of red pepper flakes, one teaspoon of rosemary, two teaspoons of sage, two teaspoons of thyme, one teaspoon of cayenne pepper, two teaspoons of black pepper, and two teaspoons of kosher salt. So what you're going to want to do is add all of this stuff into cold, cold water. I'm actually adding a lot more um, pepper than like cayenne and um, crushed pepper than what you're supposed to. But I like sausage really spicy. So I'm in the in the recipe. I'm calling for um, a teaspoon of red pepper flakes and a teaspoon of cayenne, but I'm actually going to add two teaspoons of each just to make it a little bit hotter because um, I like things spicy. So once you have all your ingredients put together, start stirring it up. You're going to smell it. It's going to smell like sausage. So you know you're pretty well on the right track. Alright, so now that you've got your uh, spices all mixed up just go ahead and you start adding your meat I use a KitchenAid mixer you don't have to but uh, I think it's a little bit easier that way so what I like to do is add about half of my pork and then add about half of my venison that knife is not sharp And then you're going to go ahead and start mixing that. Add roughly half of your spice mix. And 
just let that go for a minute and see that it all got mixed up well. All right, so your first half of it's pretty well mixed up. Let's go ahead and add our second half of the meat. Go ahead and get that mixing. And add the rest of your mixture. So the best thing to do now is to make a little patty and get you a frying pan and fry it and taste it. And you're going to be able to tell if there's something missing there. And you can play around with the ingredients a little bit. Um, you know, come up with a recipe of your own. But I'm going to try this out see how good it is. Alright, so I got my little piece of sausage cooked up. I want to try it here. See how uh, see how my spices turned out. That's pretty good. I feel like it could be a little bit warmer, but that's okay. I think uh, we'll keep it uh, keep this batch the way it is. That way, my wife and daughter can eat more of it, and then I'll make a super spicy one here later. Pretty good. So now we have the KitchenAid mixer set up and if you have a KitchenAid mixer, one of these little grinders is really pretty awesome. I use it for everything and uh, I don't really have much problem with it. It seems to work great and right now we have the fine plate on it and we're just going to re-grind all this sausage to get it mixed up even better and get it a little finer and uh, that'll be the last step. All right, that's pretty much it, guys. You know, uh, this is super easy to do, and I highly recommend you do it with uh, any ground deer meat that you have. And uh, it's a good way just to use up meat at the end of the year if you have a bunch left over to make room in the freezer. What I like to do is uh, vacuum seal in one pound portions. I have a food scale. Just weigh out a pound, throw it in a bag, vacuum seal it, and throw it in the freezer. And it'll stay good for a real long time. Um, you really can with one deer make enough sausage to last all year by far. Well, if you like this kind of content, don't forget to uh, leave me a comment and let me know. I don't film a whole lot of cooking stuff, but maybe I'll start. I do cook a ton and uh, really, really enjoy it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be doing a hog hunt here in Georgia in about a month, so this sausage might be straight pork next time. I'm also going to be doing some coyote hunting and most definitely this year I'm going to drag myself out and finally start fly fishing again. I absolutely love fly fishing. I don't know why I don't do it more. See ya.